Hi everyone. I've seen several posts on social media recently uh, talking about problems target shooting clubs in the UK are having with their target turners and how they automate them. So I just wanted to make a short video here which will perhaps give you some ideas based upon what I built for our club, the Arbroath Area Full Bore Gun Club. It's intentionally very simple. You've only got two switches on it. One, a main power switch, um, which is self-explanatory, and then a second switch here to make the targets active, as in the target controller can change their direction, or target safe, which electrically isolates the uh, output relay, therefore uh, ensuring the, uh, the box cannot change the targets unexpectedly when you approach. On the side, Again, very simple, three connections, um, the two outside ones for when you're charging it, and we charge this from a, uh, uh, a solar panel that we have within a club hut, and the second pair, the black and red, for actually attaching to the target ram, and I'll let you see how that connects in a moment. So here we have the uh, target tunnel connected up, you see the white cable coming out the back of it, that's just a 12 volt connection into the back of an actuator on this pneumatic ram here coming in the back here of course and that's just connected to the uh, the target board so we can take our device in this case a uh, a club uh, tablet that we've bought first of all make the targets active then we can hide the targets face the targets choose a practice in this case, we'll do what's this time of precision one practice two. Reads out the instructions to us, which you won't be able to read. We say ready. The targets then go away, and they should now turn six times for two seconds. And there we go. And on the uh, the tablet itself it tells us what's happening as it happens. that we need to stop immediately. We have an emergency stop on the, uh, the iPad here. I'll wait until the targets are faced. I can press that and immediately the targets go away. We can see emergency stop called on the, uh, the screen. So that's it in operation. Nifty. Unload and show clear. So here we are on my phone now. All you need to do, first of all, before launching the application, you can see at the top there, is to go into the settings. Um, within there, you'll see Wi-Fi. As I've mentioned before, the box uh, has a Raspberry Pi in it, and it uh, actually acts as a Wi-Fi access point. From there, open the application and you get a choice of uh, several disciplines you can run. At the moment, we've got time and precision one uh, at the top there, but if I go into the menu, I can choose time and precision two, multi-target, or indeed a custom practice where you can set the number of exposures you want, the exposure duration, and the time between exposures. Um, but if we take one of the standard competitions that we all know, um, here's time and precision one, I can, using the buttons at the bottom there, face the targets or hide the targets uh, manually. That's useful for setting up sometimes. You might be able to hear the box which is sitting beside me clicking right now. But if I go to a, uh, a practice, practice one, it comes up and tells you on the screen for the RO to read out. Here is the, uh, uh, the practice details. So just the usual one there that you all know about, one exposure of 120 seconds and 12 shots downrange. If you choose ready, the um, targets will go away. Standard five seconds delay, and then they'll be shown for the first time. And there we see targets shown, exposure one of one. If I hit emergency stop now, if something strange were to happen, 
immediately the targets are turned away and it ends that detail. So same for any of the other uh, practices. Ready, not ready, practice three. And that is it. That is the application. So here's the technology inside the box and it's all intentionally fairly simple. The two switches on the outside that you've already seen, the panel mount switches. It's powered by a 12 volt battery here, which uh, as I say is charged from a solar panel that we have in our hut. The uh, device here is a simple um, 12 volt to 5 volt buck converter and all that does is feed power to a Raspberry Pi down here. The Raspberry Pi then controls this relay um, and that uh, relay sends 12 volt power out to these uh, two pins that are connected to the, uh, uh, the target RAM. So fairly simple in terms of uh, what you need to put in the box. Unload and show clear.